in this episode by AT Infra, we are going to give you an inside view of logistics and supply chain operations at an inland container depot at Gurgaon, operated by Gateway District Parks, one of India's premier logistic companies. Inland container depots in the infrastructure and logistic industry are major storage facilities located in the hinterland of a country. They play a major role in receiving and dispatching cargo undertaking custom clearance and are very well connected with railways and roadways. ICDs, as they are called, aim at seamless flow of cargo operations across the major industrial centers of the country. Gateway District Park's ICD in Gurgaon serves the major industrial areas located in northern India from where I am reporting for today. Definitely a shift happening uh, from road to rail. Traditionally in India, a lot of transportation happened on bulk uh, on trucks. Uh, that shift is happening from bulk to containerized and between that uh, containerized movement uh, the need of the hour is to do multimodal transportation uh, both from a cost effectiveness point of view for customers where the longest part of the journey is done by uh, rail and the first and last mile is connected by road. The other part is it's also a more sustainable method of uh, movement and the government is focusing in a big way by developing adequate infrastructure uh, some of these projects have been delayed, but uh, they are coming on track now and with the focus on logistics, with the national logistics policy, with the uh, Gati Shakti, we see that this is getting uh, done at a faster pace now. Gateway District Parks is planning to expand its network of container terminals across India. Right now we have five container freight stations and five rail linked ICDs. Uh, the 11th one, which will be a rail-linked ICD at Jaipur, is under construction and will be operational by end of the year. After that, we have plans to make two more ICDs, which will connect to our Northwest Corridor. And these will probably be located either in North or Central India. Uh, our supply chain bottlenecks are easing out, uh, especially with the dedicated freight corridor coming in. We see huge potential in, in this sector. Uh, and we'll be properly positioned with our network in place uh, to get maximum growth out of this. Right now we are already connected to the DFC, uh, our main hub in the north at Gadi, uh, which is near Gurgaon, as well as our hub in Gujarat at Viramgam, which is near Ahmedabad, uh, are already connected to the portions of the DFC that are already active. Uh, going forward, our terminals at Jaipur as well as Faridabad are also going to be connected directly to the DFC. Uh, so, we are looking to expand in our ICD vertical. Uh, we just uh, completed our acquisition of Kashipur. We are building Jaipur. And we have in mind to build two more terminals, either build or acquire if we find the right fit. Uh, by the end of FI25, uh, we are looking at UP, Rajasthan and Central India as the key areas where we want to expand. Uh, also separately, through our subsidiary in Snowman, we will be looking at expanding in the cold storage and dry warehousing segments as well. The ICD in Gurgaon is a 90-acre facility and is the flagship terminal of the company with an installed capacity of 250,000 TEUs. The company's network of ICDs also include Ludhiana, Faridabad and Kashipur in North India. The Gurgaon ICD is a unique one as it was among the first terminals which could undertake double stacking of containers. The ICD primarily caters to the exim cargo, especially of automobiles to Latin America and Africa market. Apart from exim cargo, it also operates refer trains. The logistics operator has a market share of 17% in NCR and about 33% in Ludhiana and plans to start double stacking operations from its Faridabad ICD facility as well. If we talk about Delhi NCR, uh, we have our flagship terminal in Gurgaon and we have another terminal at Faridabad. Uh, we are already having a market share of 70%. Uh, so this market is very important to us uh, because uh, if you talk about the industry, the auto industry is there. Uh, then we have all uh, big importers of white goods. Uh, then we have uh, garment exporters. So what we are looking at is a, a, a huge size of uh, 1 lakh TUs uh, per month which is happening and we are planning to increase our market share. Uh, so if you look at uh, the ICD which is inside Delhi, 
so we ha we have also plans to target their volume since uh, uh, there is a problem in uh, taking cargo inside and outside of delhi so uh, the customers are looking uh, options out of delhi and we have that first mover advantage that outside delhi we have uh, two terminals one in gurgaon and one is in faridabad so that gives a lot of benefit to the customers in terms of 24/7 cargo movement plus there is no uh, ngt tax which is uh, applied on the road transportation so that gives a cost advantage also and another factor is that a lot of new investment which is coming uh, near ncr that is coming around our terminals so if we look at one of our biggest customer like maruti so they are coming up with a new plant which is very close to our facility then uh, there are areas uh, which are uh, closer to our facility near nimrana bhivadi bawal and manesar the new investments are coming in uh, so with these investments so we are expecting uh, not only the organic growth but additional uh, uh, industry growth will help us in uh, gaining the market share in january 2021 Prime Minister Narendra Modi flagged off the world's first double stack container train hauled by electric traction. The PM outlined that India has now emerged as one of the few nations in the world to undertake double stack container operations. In the logistics industry, double stacking of containers, which is basically running two sets of containers, one on top and one on below on a rack, provides the opportunity for increasing revenues, volumes and thereby witness increase in exim trade traffic dfc will ensure faster heavier and longer trains indian railways specifically will be able to undertake double stacking of about 360 tu containers freight trains will be able to carry cargo at a speed of 75 to 100 km per hour with the help of double stack operations at our gurgaon terminal so we have been able to increase our capacity of our trains because at one go uh, we can load 180 tus so practically at one go we are running two trains at one time and since our terminal is also very closer to the dfc uh, so over the period of time we have already accrued many benefits uh, because all the trains which are going from gurgaon uh, clubbing uh, volumes of other terminals so their uh, transit time has reduced from 65 hours to uh, less than 40 hours which has not only helped the trade but it has also helped us uh, increasing our capacity so uh, if we uh, look at both the benefits uh, the growing industry in the region uh, the option uh, given to the trade outside delhi Uh, plus the double stacking as well as the dfc all these factors uh, put together so ncr market uh, is very interesting to us and we are very sure that we should be able to gain more volumes going ahead in december 2021 indian railways unveiled the gati shakti terminal policy which allows private as well as state owned operators to set up common use of facilities or terminals for handling rail cargo The policy has two components: development of common user facilities on private land or land owned by the railways. Gateway District Parks highlighted that as a full-fledged rail cargo operator, there remains limited business potential for setting up common user terminals at railway land wherein the operator will not have ownership of the terminal yard and the same will serve as a common user facility for other operators as well. Not having exclusivity for terminal use and train operations will result in limited potential for operators such as gateway district parks as they derive 70% of the revenue from train operations there is scope for the government to bring some changes in the gati shakti cargo terminal policy and doing so will help the government meet its own objective of bringing down the logistics cost to single digits in the country